All right, now if you look at the Android 16's release timeline, the developer preview was introduced in the month of November itself last year, which is 2024. And then the first beta was released in January 2025. And we are in February, the beta 2 is already released. And we are looking at platform stability by March or April end. And the stable version of Android 16 is expected by May, which is much earlier than the last year's Android 15 release. The developer preview of Android 15 was released in the month of February 2024 and after a few betas the platform stability was reached in the month of June or July followed by the final release. So compared to Android 15 the Android 16 is right on track and the stable version of Android 16 is expected to get released as early as May 2025. And this will lead to an early release of One UI 8 as well. Recently, Ice Universe tweeted that I have initial information that One UI 8 will arrive sooner than previous thought. Now, this is obviously expected. We can also guess this because the Android 16 is already on its way and the stable version is getting released very, very soon. And Samsung in turn will get to work on the Android 16 sooner than last Last year and we should be getting the first beta of One UI 8 in the third quarter of 2025 itself. And this is also an indication that Samsung may skip One UI 7.1 which is a bummer but getting One UI 8 earlier than expected is going to be just perfect. Next here is a shocking information which may disappoint the Galaxy flagship phone users like the S24 series or the S23 series. Tipster Abhishek Yadav on X has shared some screenshots and he says the latest Samsung Galaxy Model A 6 will come with One UI 7 based on Android 15, while the Samsung Yes series flagships have yet to receive One UI 7. <laughs> this is crazy, isn't it? A budget segment device getting One UI 7 out of the box while the flagship phones are still waiting. Now, on these screenshots, you can see the competition comparison on which we can see loads of details about the device. All its specifications are mentioned right here. And the next screenshot talks about One UI 7 upgraded, enjoy a revamped graphic user interface for an unmatched user user experience. There are three headers here, more iconic designs which says redesigned app icons and UI enhance visibility and strengthen galaxy identity. And in those images you can see we have got now bar right there which is pretty cool. Even the mid-range and the lower end Samsung devices will be getting now bar. A lot of you guys have been asking me whether you're going to get now bar on your uh, A series, M series and F series devices. And here we go, we have got now bar on your device. Then we have got better user experience, easily access the quick panel and notification with simple swipe gestures. And we've got improved personalization, customize widgets by choosing different sizes and playful shapes. This is pretty cool. The lower end Samsung devices also getting now bar and the One UI 7 coming out of the box is something really shocking. And this phone is expected to release very, very soon. And ironically, the flagship Galaxy phone users will get to see One UI 7 after this latest A series users get to enjoy the One UI 7. Now, there is nothing too exciting about the Android 16 on the Pixel phones. Usually we get some basic upgrades when it comes to the Android upgrades on the Pixel phones. Similarly, this year also, there is nothing exciting. We got a couple of new features like notification cooldown, which was discussed during the Android 15 as well. And there is something called audio sharing, which is already available on Samsung Galaxy phones through AuraCast. The modes feature has been improved on Android 16 and a few aesthetic changes and a couple of new features. And we can expect a few more features getting added in the next beta. But as usual, it's a boring update. And for those of you guys who want to switch from Samsung to Pixel, you will be coming back to Samsung very soon. Now, as far as Samsung's One UI 8 is concerned, we do not know about the new features. We all are still waiting for the stable version of One UI 7. I'm pretty sure you guys are laughing at me because I'm making a video on One UI 8. But yeah, I wanted to keep you guys posted about what's happening with One UI 8 as I keep you guys posted about One UI 7 as well. The next important thing I wanted to keep you posted is that the S25 series has started getting the February 2025 security update. A few days back, it started in Korea and uh, I believe that it's already available in the US. And we can expect this update very soon in India and a few other regions as well. And this update will be installed on your S25 series through seamless update feature which is a brand new feature where the software update and the installation happens in the background. The phone will not turn off for a longer time. We will be able to use the phone while the installation is in progress in the background. So that's a new feature on the S25 series and it has been already witnessed in some of the regions. This is it in today's video. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you want to stay updated with everything that is happening with your phone, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. And do go ahead and check out our brand new wallpaper application called Wallverse. There are some 
pretty cool wallpapers, you will fall in love with it. Do go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description. If you like the app, do rate it as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you.